So today when we're fishing in the deep water, we're going to be using circle hooks. Now circle hooks are a relatively new technology which is really taking hold in recreational fishing across Australia. The special thing about these hooks is they have this recurved point. It's a very fine point that is angled so that when the fish takes the bait, the point actually slips into the corner of the mouth of the fish. So every time you use these hooks and you hook a fish, you'll find that the hook is in the corner of the mouth rather than down the gut, as can happen with other traditional hook types. That makes for really convenient and quick release for the fish and is obviously very safe as well because often a fish hooked somewhere else can flap around a bit. If you're using a two hook rig like this, that other hook's flying all over the joint. But with this hook, you can actually slip it out quickly and move your rig away and then take care of the fish from there. It is best practice to use these hooks now. They don't get used in all situations, but certainly when you're bait fishing, they're the hook of choice for most people these days because of the sustainability benefits, the, the fact that you can release fish quickly and that you're not gut hooking fish. You can get them in all sorts of sizes, um, certainly very popular when you're fishing on the deep reefs, but we're also you're going to be using them on our whiting rigs today and we believe that they give you just as good a catch rate on the whiting. And again, the whiting are just hooked in the corner of the mouth, it means that you can unhook them and dispatch them very quickly. So best practice philosophies in recreational fishing, they revolve around the sustainability of the fishery, meaning making the most of every fish that you catch. A lot of people catch and release these days, circle hooks work beautifully. And in the old days, I guess, what would have happened is that many fish may have been gut hooked and if they were undersized, would have been released, probably not to survive. So best practice around recreational fishing is really extracting maximum benefit out of every fish you catch. It doesn't matter whether you're going to release it or whether you're going to take it home for a feed. Everything we're trying to do here today is around maximising that benefit out of the individual fish.